What is up you guys? If you are seeing this, that means it is my last video. Now this part right here that you are hearing is actually kind of like an update to the original video I had planned to upload as my last video. Basically, I had this crazy feeling that I was going to die, you know, within two days. So I started panicking and I made this video. And I still want to get this video up, even though, you know, it's been months since I actually recorded the part where I thought I was going to die. So obviously I have not died. But nonetheless, this is my last video, if you are seeing this. And I still want this to be uploaded. So that is why you are now seeing it. I hope that gives some context. But yeah, this is my last video and the reason why it's my last video is either one I actually have passed away or two I've just gotten fed up with this website because it's really gotten bad on here in terms of you know what you can and what you can't show what you can and what you can't say I feel really in a box if that makes sense like I can't express myself I can't say things I want to say without you know without being in fear of it damaging the channel so I, I have honestly just had, I've had enough. So either that has pushed me over to the point of quitting or I have passed away. And now that that has been said, here is the part that I filmed a few months ago. For those of you who don't know, I am a, I am a Christian and it is, you know, it's my duty to spread the word of God and to teach other people. And I figure since I have somewhat of an audience, I should do that. So as my last video, that's what I plan to do. So if you're interested, I, um... I encourage you to stick around. But basically all I want to ask you is, you know, do you know where you're going when you die? Because, like, just think of consciousness. Just think how crazy it is that you are aware of who you are. You're aware of everything. Just com complete consciousness. Just try to understand that. It's so mind-boggling. And then think of artificial intelligence and AI. And you see how far we have come? And yet... AI, artificial intelligence, still hasn't reached the singularity, which, if you don't know what singularity is, it's when artificial intelligence becomes conscious. And there are the smartest people in the world working on, you know, artificial intelligence. The smartest people. And yet, artificial intelligence hasn't become conscious. But, humans are conscious. Well, what does that tell you? That obviously means that there is a God. Like, if you have the smartest people in the world working on something and we can't get it right, how do you expect a big bang? How do you expect just a random act to create consciousness, to create life, to create something that the smartest people cannot create? That right there suggests a level of intelligence much greater than us. I mean, we have the smartest people in the freaking world working on artificial intelligence and we can't get consciousness. And yet you and I have it, what, by some random act? Like, that's just crazy. So, um, you know, I'd like to ask you all a question. Has anyone ever, you know, taken the Bible and shown you how you can know for sure that you're going to heaven? Well, the Bible has some bad news and good news for you. And the bad news is that you're a sinner. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. No one's perfect. Your thoughts, your actions, you know, they're sinful. Just even one thought, you know, one strike, you're out. And the penalty of sin is death. You know, suppose you work for me and I paid you 50 bucks. That $50 is your wages. That's what you earned. And, you know, the wages of sin is death. And you sin, you die. But the good news is that God sent his son Jesus to earth to die for you to take your place that way you can be with him and I know a lot of people don't even believe that Jesus existed well just think of the date we are in 2018 AD after death and and when people say BC it's before Christ obviously he existed the Bible says that Christ took the penalty that we deserve for sin placed it on himself and died in our place. Three days later, he came back to life to prove that sin and death had been conquered and that he is God. Because if he didn't come back to life, he, would, he, might, he could have been just a random person, right? And you can get saved just by believing that he did that for you. It's just faith, not by actions. It's just faith. You have to depend on him alone to save you and to forgive you. It's just as if you were to sit on a chair you trust it to hold you through no effort of your own. You trust solely in the chair. In the same way as with your sins, you trust Jesus to forgive you. 
and him alone. So if this message, you know, touched your heart in any way, I definitely encourage you to ask Jesus to forgive you. And yeah, that's basically it. But I want to thank everyone who has been with me on this journey. It's been a blessing beyond all. But uh, yeah, anyway.